So, hey guys, I just wanted to let you know uh, what card you should be running for the Legacy event. So I think I'm... did I? I'm not sure if I mentioned it before. Well, either way, a really good card for this event is actually Prohibition. There are some hand traps and stuff that you can kind of guess what your opponent's running, like... Effect Veiler, you can go ahead Prohibition Declare Effect Veiler, and that's generally useful to set up your board uninterrupted. Or you can declare like a board breaker if it's relevant to you, like Super Poly. And then just simply your opponent won't be able to Super Poly you, which is well. But for example in this list, if you activate Prohibition Declare Dark Magician, there is actually zero ways for your opponent to out this and do anything meaningful for the rest of the game. So, let's see what their highest attack point monster is. So, the, the best they could probably do is maybe, like, uh, Tribute Summon Dark Magician Girl. Because they're completely locked out of their extra deck, aside from the stuff they can use. They, they can use Super Poly to make, I guess, like, Garura, which does nothing. And then this, Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. It does a little bit of something, but... Like, by itself, it's not going to win you a game if you use your own monsters as material, especially. Then we have Dark Magician the Dragon Knight, not summonable. Cavalry, not summonable. The Dark Magicians, not summonable. Master of Chaos, not summonable. Quintet Magician. This is actually summonable. But, like, not really, because... You would need the exact hand of Secrets of Dark Magic, and then every single, like, nearly every single sp spellcaster in your deck, is sat with the exception of, like, Dark Magicians, or Dark Magician, and then you would need, like, Secrets, of course, right? I guess they could be on your hand or field, but if all you can do is, like, normal summon these monsters, I guess you can special summon souls, but... It doesn't really do you much good. So... You'll end up getting pretty hard shafted by Prohibition Declare Dark Magician. It just renders the deck completely unplayable and pretty much just useless. And of course, since this is a structure deck, a lot of people will have easy access to this. But, of course, um, Prohibition is also in Legacy, and I believe it might have been a reward or something, like, in one of the, uh, tickets or whatever, for, uh, one of the festivals, I believe. So it's pretty likely that you just have a few copies of Prohibition lying around, so, might as well give it a try. If you declare Dark Magician, and they are playing Dark Magician, it's just... A complete auto win. In this case, they have a literally zero outs for uh, prohibition. Declare dark magician. And even if they did have back row removal, it's not that much. So, well, it's not even accessible, depending on what they're running exactly. Like, for example, like what was it called? Dark magic attack or something like that. Dark burning magic. Like, none of those are usable. None of the Dark Magician-specific removal work, so... And uh, hopefully you'll be able to brutalize some people with Prohibition. Since Cult Buy is banned anyways, might as well give it a try. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.